When you are watching a basketball game, say a match between two PBA teams, each player has a contribution to the team, whether it be on scoring or rebounds. Now, imagine the players of a team as components of a solution, and those points and rebounds as their partial molar properties. When change is observed in enthalpy by virtue of addition of an infinitesimal amount of substance to a solution at constant temperature and pressure, the thermodynamic quantity that describes this occurrence is called partial molar enthalpy. For example, adding a small amount of ammonium chloride to a solution of the same substance with water will change the total molar enthalpy of the system. To further divulge the idea of partial molar enthalpy, an experiment was conducted, involving the determination of the effect of the composition of the different components of the mixture on the molar enthalpy of the solution. Also to evaluate the partial molar enthalpy of the different components of the mixture. Before conducting the experiment, here are several safety reminders, always wear your laboratory gown and other necessary paraphernalia, including safety goggles and gloves, preferably nitrile gloves. Wear closed shoes and long pants. For the ladies, ensure that your hair is primly tied. As for the laboratory equipment, handle them with care and caution. Furthermore, after acquiring the materials, scrutinize each of them for any form of cracks or damages. These safety protocols should always be observed throughout the experiment. In the experiment, distilled water and ammonium chloride were the only reagents used. The experimenters only focused on partial molar enthalpy of the components. Fiercely, the PAR 6755 solution calorimeter was switched on. Before starting, we then wait for the equipment to be used fully functionally. The weight of the ammonium chloride was then measured by starting from 0.1 grams with an increment of 0.1 grams until there were 10 trials gathered. After the preparations of the ammonium chloride sample, it was transferred to the Teflon dish and distilled water was placed in the Dewar flask. Then the drive belt was placed in the pulley cam to be able to start the machine. Pressing the start button will make the machine work and putting the value of the sample that is weighted in the tap loading balance for the machine to compute for the heat of the solution. After hearing the first beep of the machine, press the push rod and after the second beep, the process was done. Record the data that is flashed in the machine after the process. Different equations were eventually applied to solve for the unknown values. To obtain the actual partial molar enthalpy literature values of both reagents were consulted and then getting the moles was executed for each. On the other hand, the concept of mole fractions was applied to calculate the mole fraction of the reagents, furthermore, the values calculated was used to get the molecular weight of the solution. The change of enthalpy was then measured. And lastly, the partial molar enthalpy of the components of the solution was calculated. Based on the raw data gathered, it implies that the overall process is exothermic. As the separated molecules of ammonium chloride and water joined together to form a solution a heat was released. The molar enthalpy of solution should theoretically increase with an increasing composition of the mixture components. As concluded, the higher the concentration of solute the higher is the molar enthalpy of solution. Furthermore, when the two components have joined together, it creates an exothermic reaction which causes a decreased in molar enthalpy of the solution.